What's up guys, Chris here from Truth Nutra. If you eat mint in some way, shape, or form, uh, you're definitely gonna wanna watch the end of this video, especially if you're a man, but also if you're a woman too, because I've never heard anybody give the advice that I'm about to give today. Mint's everywhere. It's in our toothpaste, it's in our mouthwash, it's in our candy, it's in our soap, our teas, and in our favorite chewing gum. Yeah, mint tastes great, and I personally used to consume it every single day in some way, shape, or form until I saw some shocking research that I'm gonna tell you about today that shows some really negative effects on human hormones. Let's get started. Mint is an extremely common aromatic herb and it's used to flavor a lot of different things in our everyday lives, you know, from cocktails to personal care products to all the things that I mentioned earlier. It's also extremely popular when consumed as a tea, especially in European and Middle Eastern cultures because that's where the plant is native. So when I first ran across this study, I was actually extremely surprised because I never heard anything bad about mint with relation to your health in the mainstream media. For example, if you go Google mint health benefits or mint health, uh, you find a bunch of Me Too articles listing, covering the first few pages of Google talking about how uh, great mint is for your health. This study said otherwise. And if you know me, you know I don't trust mainstream advice, especially not at face value. So the doctors in this specific study that I'm about to show you, they pursued this topic with relation to mint and androgens in men precisely because they'd actually had a lot of complaints of their patients talking about loss of sexual function and lowered reproductive health in general. Uh, so they actually pursued this not out of personal interest, but out of curiosity, which makes it a very interesting study. Here's what they found. All right, in testing, 48 male Wistar rats, uh, which it's unfortunate that they didn't test humans, but uh, apparently they didn't have access to the humans for the study. Uh, what they did was they split them into four groups. And the first group was a control group, which just drank water. Now the second group was the group that drank 20 grams per liter uh, body weight uh, peppermint tea. The next group drank 20 grams per liter of spearmint tea. And then the fourth group drank 40 grams per liter of spearmint tea. And what they found was kind of disturbing. Now, when compared to the control group, the group that drank the 20 grams per liter of peppermint tea uh, dropped their testosterone by a whopping 23%. The group that drank the 20 grams per liter of spearmint tea dropped their testosterone levels, their total testosterone levels, by an insane 51%. Now, the researchers concluded the following in the closing remarks. Despite the beneficial effects of peppermint and spearmint in digestion, we should also be aware of the toxic effects when the herbs are not used in the recommended fashion or at the recommended dose. Now, another study later on actually reproduced the exact same anti-androgenic response, uh, and they deduced that it was due to uh, mint actually producing oxidative stress on the hypothalamus, which led to a downstream downregulation of testosterone production. Now, I'm not really sure why nobody has studied this in human men yet. Uh, it's probably because there's really no money in this area of research. Uh, but they have done a few studies on women with a condition called hirsutism, which hirsutism is characterized by excessively high testosterone levels, which result in male masculine features on a female. So, uh, for example, growing a mustache or a beard. And what they did was they used the mint to actually lower, uh, specifically lower their androgen levels to get them back into a normal range, which if you're a man and you're pursuing higher testosterone levels, that is not a good sign. Now the study that was done on the women with hirsutism actually saw a whopping 30% drop in free testosterone levels in just five days. So this is pretty interesting stuff. So what's my recommendation? Obviously, I'm going to say that you should probably stay away from mint tea because that's what they studied all these studies that had a drastic drop in testosterone in free testosterone levels. However, uh, we have to be realistic here. There's mint in a lot of different things. So to say to avoid mint across the board would be unrealistic. Here's what I think you should do. I think you should, you can continue to use mint in uh, personal care items or items like toothpaste, uh, where you're actually using it just for a specific purpose and then spitting it out. Now, uh, chewing gum gets into a bit of a gray area because usually you're chewing it and the saliva is now going down your throat with all the mint into it, it's going into your stomach. Uh, but in general, I would definitely recommend against exposing uh, yourself and your skin 
to mint-laden products that are going to actively be absorbed into your blood, be absorbed into your endocrine system. For example, soaps, actually eating foods with mint in it or drinking drinks with mint in it, definitely avoid that. So hopefully that was helpful to you and uh, some new and interesting content. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, uh, just subscribe to my channel. I've got a bunch more on the way and I've already got a bunch on the channel. Uh, I also have one more thing I want to talk to you about. If you are interested in learning about all of the specific foods that you should be eating as a man on a daily basis to optimize your hormones and your health, uh, go over to 30manfoods.com or click the link. There'll be a link in either above or below this video somewhere. I've got a free PDF over there available for download. It's gonna give you the exact information. It's a grocery list, something you can literally download, print out, bring to the grocery store. It's super helpful, 100% free and uh, you'll be able to be on the fast track to knowing exactly what you need to eat as a man because a lot of guys fall into the pitfall of eating foods that are very estrogenic. You wanna be able to avoid that. Go over to 30manfoods.com right now and download this free grocery list and I will see you over there.